today we're going to be discussing why you should not always use SLOC 2, especially if you're doing a white background like how I'm doing right now. But to demonstrate that better, let's just go back behind the camera so I can show you guys exactly why. We're going to be comparing three different picture profiles, which is going to be just the default picture profile and Cineform. And we're going to be comparing SLOC. And to do this, I brought an external monitor to do this because the best way to see the exposure on a scene is by using false color, which I'm going to turn on right now. Which I wish more DSLRs or even like cameras like this that I'm shooting with right now, which is the Sony FS5. It doesn't even have it, but this is probably going to be your most important tool. I would get an external monitor just to have false color on it. But as you can see, if you just looked at your monitor, you would think that it's perfectly white. But that, as we can see, it's actually not. So if you don't know how false color works, pretty much all I'm going to tell you is red means that it's perfectly white and as you can see this is orange and then we got yellow that means that the orange part is very bright but there's still detail there and then we got even more detail here in the yellows which is not good if you're doing a white screen and that's mainly because it's just, it's just supposed to be white and this is not pure white so if we just look at the picture profile we're on which is the S-Log3 it's gathering all that detail in that very bright white screen that we don't want and depending on what you're shooting you're gonna want different dynamic ranges just because s-log3 gets the most amount of dynamic range it doesn't mean that that's the best picture profile as an artist you have to make that decision on how much dynamic range you want so if we go from s-log3 to s-log2 you see that we lose a little bit of detail in the highlights which is good in this case but still, on the edges, we still have oranges and yellows, which means that we're still getting detail that we don't need. So for a white background shoot like this, that if you're doing like a corporate gig or something, I would recommend either Cine Cineform. So if we go to the Cineformat, as you can see, it's at Cineform. We get a completely red background, which means it's actually perfectly white. So when we have the subject in front of it, then we can just focus on the exposure on the subject and we'll know for sure that the background is going to be properly white. What the cinema picture profile does is that it pretty much gives you a good dynamic range on the skin tones, but on those super highlights, it pretty much makes them all white, like how we're seeing it right now. So if we had, a, for example, a very bright sky, Cine 4 actually wouldn't do good as s 2 or s 3 because they will gather more information. But for a scene like this, you don't need that information. You don't want that information. So you're better off using Cine 4 or just turning off the picture profile and just using the default. That will also give you just a perfectly white screen. And the difference between these two is going to be that the default picture profile is going to have less dynamic range than the Cine picture profile. So honestly, if you're like choosing between them, I would just ask, are you gonna color correct this? If you're gonna color correct it and you want to make some adjustments, then go with the Cine Picture Profile. But if you are, don't care about color correcting, you just wanna do it out of the camera, then just do the default picture profile. Also, if you're doing a shoot where it's completely dark and you just have a lot of dark spots on the screen, then I would also just either use the Cine 4 or the default picture profile because you're going to get the least amount of dynamic range which is good because if it's middle of the night and you barely have any light anyways you're not going to have any dynamic range anyways and if you did have a lot of dynamic range in that scene then you're just going to be gathering a lot of noise because that's what the detail is going to be anyways guys thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe to my channel i make videos every single week so make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye